Jonathan Swift wisely remarked, The power of thought is the greatest tool given to man. Let us use it to create, not just to reflect. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has numbers inside. The first column of the matrix has numbers 79, 88, and 98. The second column has numbers 63, 64, and 72. And then the third column has only two numbers, 3 and 2. And then comes the missing number in the bottom right corner, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 1. Choice B, 3. Choice C, 5. And last but not least, choice D, 7. Well, I've been through the test myself, so I understand how it feels when you see a tough question and start to doubt that you can solve it. Let me give you a hint. Remember, I presented the data as numbers and columns. Column 1, column 2, and column 3. Which might lead you to believe that the numbers are calculated from row 1 to row 2 to row 3. What if this is not correct? What if you need to look at the row itself? And look at the numbers in the row for sequential calculations from the left to the right. Remember, it's totally normal to face challenges during the test. Just remember, every problem has a solution. With your creativity and determination, I'm sure we'll figure it out together. Let's tackle this question as a team. Are you prepared to share your answer? And don't worry, even if you didn't get it right, you might be surprised by how simple the solution actually is. Remember I told you that the calculations here go from left to right. The middle number is the product of the digits of the left number and the right number is found by subtracting the digits of the middle number. Let's look at the example. The first row has numbers 79, 63, and 3. First number consists of digits 7 and 9. 7 multiplied by 9 equals 63, and 6 minus 3 equals 3. Let's verify the pattern with the middle row. 8 multiplied by 8 equals 64. 6 minus 4 equals 2. And now is the magic time to calculate the missing number. 9 multiplied by 8 equals 72, and 7 minus 2 equals 5. So the correct answer here is choice C, 5. You're presented with three cool-looking shapes. Let's call them combo circles. Each shape has three digits inside. The first shape has numbers 5, 12, and 39. The second shape has numbers 6, 14, and 45. And then the third shape only has two numbers, 7 and 16 and you need to calculate the third missing number and select the answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 48. Choice B, 49. Choice C, 51. And last but not least, choice D, 52. The answer is one of the choices on the screen. I just gave you four possibilities. You need to challenge yourself to figure it out rather than guessing, which only gives you 25% of being correct. Here's a quick hint to boost your confidence and help you achieve mastery. Let's take a close look at the first shape. The numbers in the first shape are 5, 12, and 39. Typically, such numbers represent the pattern, with pattern starting at the smallest number and then increasing, which means that the pattern most likely will start at 12 o'clock. Typically, for these types of calculations, some sort of increment is used. The question is, how would you get from 5 to 12? Let's start with the simplest increment, 1. It's too small, so we need to move to increment 2. If you multiply 5 by 2, you will get to 10. So the question is, what do you need to do to get from 10 to 12? And is this relevant to the increment we just chose? I know you've got it now. Take a little time to solve this question on your own to find the answer. And remember, it's perfectly okay to pause the video and take your time to think more about the problem. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? I hope you found your solution. So let's compare our answers. You need to start with initial number at 12 o'clock, multiply it by the increment, and then add the result to the increment. What makes it a little tricky is that for the second calculation, increment is also increased by 1. Let's look at the example. To get from 5 to 12, you need to multiply 5 and 2 and then add 2, and the result is 12. Now, the next increment is 3. 12 multiplied by 3 plus 3 equals 39. Now, let's look at the second shape to confirm the pattern. 
6 multiplied by 2 plus 2 equals 14. 14 multiplied by 3 plus 3 equals 45. And now is the magic time to calculate the missing number. 7 multiplied by 2 plus 2 equals 16. And 16 multiplied by 3 plus 3 equals 51. So the correct answer here is choice C, 51. Here is an interesting question with cool shapes. Try solving it on your own first without looking up the answer. Here's the question. Each one of the cool looking shape has four numbers. The first shape has numbers 57, 45, 81 and 69. The second shape has numbers 43, 31, 67 and 55. And then comes the third shape which only has three numbers visible. 75, 63 and 99. And then the fourth number is missing. This is the number you need to calculate and select your answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 87. Choice B, 77. Choice C, 70. And last but not least, choice D, 63. Here's a quick hint to boost your confidence and help you achieve mastery. Take a look at the first shape. I started presenting you numbers from the number on the top, which is 57. And this is very logical, because the missing number is at 9 o'clock, which would be the last one if I go around the circle. But what if, just what if, this is not the right place to start your calculations? What if the numbers in full circle represent the pattern? And what if the calculations in the pattern start with the highest number? I know you've got it now. Take a little time to solve this question and find the answer on your own. And remember, it's perfectly okay to pause the video and think more about the problem. Time's up. Are you ready to show your answer? Let's take a look at the first shape. Remember the hint I gave you. We have to start at the highest number, which is always at 6 o'clock. And in fact, the pattern here is that starting from the bottom number, which is at 6 o'clock, all subsequent numbers are reduced by 12, which is the same decrement for every rotation. Let's look at the first shape. The highest number, number at 6 o'clock, is 81. 81 minus 12 equals 69. 69 minus 12 equals 57. And 57 minus 12 equals 45. Now let's confirm our calculations with the second shape. The highest number, number at 6 o'clock in the second shape, is 67. 67 minus 12 equals 55. 55 minus 12 equals 43. And 43 minus 12 equals 31. And now is the magic time to calculate the missing number. The number at 6 o'clock here is 99. 99 minus 12 equals 87. Technically, we could stop the calculations here, because this is the final answer. But because we're here to practice, so let's continue to make sure we improve our skills. 87 minus 12 equals 75. And 75 minus 12 equals 63, which verifies all the numbers. And confirms the correct answer for this question, which is choice A, 87. You are presented with three shapes. Each shape has three circles connected with the line. And each circle has a number inside. The first shape has numbers 23, 93, and 90. The second shape has numbers 77, 37, and 34. And then the last third shape has numbers 58 and 45. And then the number in the middle is missing. Guess what? Your goal is to calculate the missing number and select one out of four possible choices. Choice A, 84. Choice B, 48. Choice C, 55. And last but not least, choice D, 58. Here's a quick hint to boost your confidence and help you achieve mastery. Let's take a close look at the first shape. The first shape has numbers 23, 93, and 90. Our goal in detecting the pattern is to understand how number in the middle shape is formed. A lot of times in these types of questions, the number is formed through math operations of the surrounding numbers. But always remember, as they often say in financial disclosures, past history does not guarantee future results. So. What if, hypothetically, just hypothetically, what if the number is formed just using the digits? Take a close look at the digits 9 and 3. Do you see them around? In other shapes that might be nearby? Hmm. I know you've got it now. Take a little more time and solve this question and find the answer on your own. 
and remember it's perfectly okay to pause the video and take your time to think more about the problem. Time's up. Are you ready with your answer? I hope you found your solution. So let's compare our answers. You made a smart choice by coming to online training for everyone to learn new skills and get motivated. As you might have guessed correctly, the digits near the middle circle form a new number. This new number has its first digit from the right circle and its second digit from the left circle. Let's look at the example. In the first shape, the number in the middle has two digits, 9 and 3. Digit 9 comes from the right circle and digit 3 comes from the left circle. Let's look at the second shape to confirm the pattern. The number in the middle is 37. 3 comes from the right circle and 7 comes from the left circle. Well, guess what time it is? It's the magic time, the moment of truth you have been waiting for to get to the final answer. The third shape, which is missing number in the middle, is formed by using two digits, digit 4 from the right and digit 8 from the left. So the correct answer here is choice B, 48. <laughs> With this question, we will look at amazingly simple and elegant combination of shapes and numbers to test your math skills. You are presented with the shape, which has three circles on one line. And there is not one, not two, but three shapes like that. The first shape has numbers 62, 69, and 76. The second shape has numbers 23, 30, and 37. And then the third shape only has one number, 77, and two numbers are missing. You need to calculate and select two missing numbers out of four possible choices. Choice A, 70 and 84. Choice B, 84 and 63. Choice C, 64 and 84. And last but not least, choice D, 84 and 91. Here's a quick hint to boost your confidence and help you achieve mastery with this question. When we have a group of three numbers, typically very simple math calculations might be used to calculate the result. This is also confirmed by the fact that two numbers are missing instead of just one number. The trick here is to start the calculations in the right place. So let's assume here, just hypothetically, that you need to start your calculations maybe not with the top or not with the bottom number, but with the middle number. And use simple math calculations, maybe addition? Hmm. I know you've got it now. Take a little time to solve this question on your own and find the answer. And remember, it's perfectly okay to pause the video and take your time to think more about this problem. Time's up. Are you ready with your answer? You need to start the calculation with the number in the middle. To calculate the bottom number, you need to increase middle number by 7. And to calculate top number, you need to decrease it by 7. Let's look at the example to confirm our hypothesis. The middle number in the first shape is 69. 69 minus 62 equals 7. 69 plus 7 equals 76. The number in the middle for the second shape is 30. 30 minus 7 equals 23. And 30 plus 7 equals 37. Guess what time it is now? It's the special moment of truth to calculate the missing number. Here's the caveat though. We only have one number, one number on the top, which is 77. So we would need to use two addition operations to calculate the number in the middle and number in the bottom. 77 plus 7 equals 84, and 84 plus 7 equals 91. So the correct answer here is choice D, 84 and 91. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. 
Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.